there's a, a part member family that we taught. The, the investigator was Joma. His name is Joma and his, his wife is Naylor. Um, well, they weren't married at the time, but they had two daughters. And Naylor was a less active member, um, and which is very common in the Marshall Islands, by the way, is, is inactivity. Um, but we, we developed a relationship with Joma. Joma was 20, in his early 20s when we taught him, probably 22. You know, he's like a little bit older than us. Um, and we, we taught him, and he had a really you know, big problem with drinking. Um, he, he would always get drunk, but I mean, he was, he was so great to his family when he was sober, um, but he just struggled, you know, he, he drank and he wouldn't come home till one in the morning and, you know, his family was obviously worried about him. Um, and I mean, we, we tried everything to, to teach him. We tried to, you know, we focus on the word of wisdom over and over and over, you know, you go through all the lessons and you're just, you know, you'll have those moments where like, what else can we teach him? We've done everything. And I remember one time we were in a lesson and the week before there were two accidents um, involving two drunk people in, in that same area on that end of the island. Um, simply what happened was they were drunk, they were stumbling into the road and a bus came or a taxi came and, and hit them and killed them, both of them. So it happened like once and then four days later it happened again. Um, and we, and you know, we never, you know, we, we obviously thought that was sad, but we never thought about it again until we were teaching him. And I remember one night in particular, we were teaching him and trying to get him to be inspired to quit. And I remember sitting there and it was 8.30 at night. It was our last lesson. It was dark. And I felt impressed in what little Marshallese I knew. I was only out there for eight months. I felt super impressed to tell him, you know, about the, st the accidents that he already knew about, but to tell it, you know, from our point of view. So he understood how important it was that drinking is not going to help you. And I remember saying, Joma, and I'm obviously saying it in English, but I said, Joma, do you remember the two stories of the, of the men that, that recently were killed? And he said, yeah. I said, just, just picture in your mind for a second that that's you, that you're right here in, in you know, the, the streets right there and you're drinking and you don't know what's going on and you take a step and you stumble and you pass out on the road or you, you stumble into the street and just imagine for a second that that car hits you and, and you, you die, you're dead. What would your family think? What would your wife think? What would your kids think? You know, my husband's gone, my, my dad is gone because of drinking. And he, and I've never seen him more alert and attentive in my entire life. And he, he literally was bug-eyed and he just knew at that moment that what he was doing was wrong. And it was one of the most amazing experiences on my mission because he, he knew what we were teaching him was true. Now, did he immediately quit and never drink again? No, he didn't. He, act, he relapsed a few times, but the point of the matter is, is he, he stopped eventually he worked his way and he worked really really hard came to church did everything we told him and probably after two weeks he was done drinking he finally told us the elders i'm not drinking anymore and for the rest of my mission for um the year and a half left on my mission that i saw him he didn't drink at all he got the melchizedek priesthood after he was baptized six months after he was a member um, and he actually lives in logan right now and their families there and I'm gonna go see them next week but the point of that is is the spirit that was there to testify to him what he was doing was wrong and that's a moment I'll never forget because a family came closer together that day and they all progressed all of them she came back to church the kids saw their parents being good examples and they were all unified and they all are, they still are, you know, do they struggle with temptation? Absolutely. You know, we all do, but I'm just so grateful for their willingness to, to work hard no matter what comes their way. And, and they're just a great example of, of faith in my mind.